Jeff, uh, obviously you guys started this season 5-20, and 20, but then after that in your subsequent games, finished with a winning record. Obviously, you know, health played a major part in that, but just what did you like about what you saw to the group, especially in, in that closing stretch? Well, firstly, uh, as you alluded to, I like health. <laughs> it's been a while since we've had that, and even, even with that, it wasn't complete health, but it was um, uh, uh, without that, you have nothing in this league. So, um, you know, look, man, we're a growing team. We're building, we're learning, we're, um, we're, we're, we're understanding what it takes to be competitive. And I think that our guys showed progress throughout the course of the season. We are a much better team today than we were in December. And, you know, I expect us to be a better team even going into next season with the awareness and understanding that we've gained for the rest of this season. And we'll build on that again next year. You know, it's so important for, for young teams, especially to develop identity. How much do you feel resiliency has become an identity of, of your young group? I think we're a resilient group. I think that uh, our players individually um, are tough-minded, they're focused. Um, uh, we have to grow our maturity level, and that's to be expected with such a young team. And I think our coaches do a great job of um, uh, helping our players understand where to recognize those uh, opportunities, um, how to evaluate them in ourselves. And, you know, we don't sugarcoat it. And so um, our guys, um, I think, bring that to each other every day. And that's got to be a collaborative effort. It's got to be an understanding that this is what it's going to take for us to win. Chris, this is such a dynamic young core. And the, the consistent narrative of all the players we talked to, they just all genuinely like each other in the locker room. When you have those two things together, how does that make Orlando, this franchise, attractive to other free agents that are saying, hey, I see what you guys are doing there. I kind of want to be a part of that. I hope so. I mean, you know, we're trying to grow, um, uh, grow a team from character and talent and fit and togetherness. And, you know, this is a very hard league. And there are a lot of situations where in order to take that next step, um, you might have to um, uh, 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 bring together a team that you're not exactly sure how it's going to look, but you know that if it works, it's going to put you in a good place. And if it doesn't work, you've got to figure some stuff out. And right now we're at um, a stage of our development where um, we do have good people. We have uh, good staff. We have an understanding of how we all get to the next step. And we have a, a, a whole organization that works without ego, without barriers, so that every player gets what they need, hopefully. At least that's what we're trying to do. And, um, you know, the people that I speak to around the league recognize that. And, you know, it's not everywhere that you find that. So what does that mean? I don't know. We'll see. But, you know, we, we are um, pleased with the way that the team has developed, the growth. Even when you look around at this practice facility, you know, people are talking about that. It's a place where people want to be. And I do think that, um, you know, it's important that we become a destination for players if we're going to get to where we want to get. Jeff, you just talked about the cohesion that there is throughout the organization of taking that next step and having the understanding. What's the, the next part to take that next step as you go into the offseason here? Well, I mean, when you talk about the next part, like on the court, that could mean um, fewer turnovers, <laughs> you know, defensive awareness, um, um, being in the right spots. Uh, you know, so many, so many different things, like, like playing good basketball, right? What we want to talk about is that we can play good basketball on both ends, and that's how you pressure test your team, so that when you hit adversity, are you playing clean basketball, you know? And then you look at, like, the talent on the roster, and you say, that's the next way you get to the next level. As these guys grow up, and as they play understanding what that looks like, and what that's supposed to be, and how that helps each other, all of a sudden you start to eliminate mistakes, add uh, an awareness of how you make each other better, and that's how you get to the next step. And honestly, there really is no next step. It's just a continuous process of growth. Jeff, how were these interviews today? Uh, probably earlier on the schedule than you wanted to have them, but you got to talk to everybody. Uh, well, you know, we always do this the day after the season, Shane, because you have to uh, let these guys go, man. <laughs> you know, these guys need these guys need to get away. They they need a break, and so um, 
you know, some of them are uh, kind of, uh, you know, the whole concept of exit interviews, I think, is a little outdated and it's a little um, much sometimes. But mostly, you know, these talks are more about thanking the players for their work. Um, just, you know, uh, uh, letting them kind of air any of their thoughts on the team and their own development. And, um, you know, if we're not uh, uh, going to see them again until September, then these exit interviews mean a lot. But, you know, I expect to see these guys in a few weeks and we, we our whole staff has relationships with our players and uh, it's just more of a thank you today. Was there a general thought or theme, kind of central thought from the players when they came in and talked to you today? Like, did, did they share anything to you that was kind of similar from each guy to each guy? The, the only, uh, I would say, common theme would just be the excitement of where the team is going. And they all um, are really, you know, we won 12 more games than the previous season, and they want to build on that and do it again next year. And the beauty of our guys is they all, um, from the first man to the 17th man, they all understand that with that means they have to look themselves in the mirror and they have to get better themselves in the context of what is moving the team forward. So um, that's what we're trying to build here. And, and, and to a man, each one of our guys gets that, they embrace it, and they're looking forward to it. With, with what they did when they got healthy in the second half of the season, had the winning record, one of the best records in the league in the second half, stuff like that, does that make your offseason job easier with what you, the core you have, or does it make it harder to tweak? I mean, that's a great question. Uh, obviously, you go into off-seasons with uh, uh, a general sense of where we need to get better as a team. So we have certain areas on the court that where we need to improve. And that can be individually, that can be within team concepts, um, but we have to get better and we have to make fewer mistakes. And our maturity level, our seriousness has to improve. And having gone through this season and the playoff race that we were in, the hunt, um, I think will have um, significant impact on how that looks next season. The other part of it, <laughs> Where are we drafting? Or do we have one pick or two? What calls are we gonna get? Um, so we have to go through the process now. You know, we have to go through and, and, and you know, a large part of this league is, is, is the uncertainty and the unknown, uh, even of the immediate future. And so that's what the summer's about. So for us, it's about how do we uh, best prepare for the unknown. Jeff, what would you say the biggest need is right now for this team? Um, you know, without really like uh, kind of like putting all that stuff on the table. I think we have a lot of needs, uh, but I think that, as I said before, we want to play clean basketball. You know, fewer fouls, fewer turnovers, the right spots defensively, understanding how each player's role moves our team forward, uh, a level of consistency, maturity, shooting, all of those things are going to lift us up. You know, we have a lot of talent on this team. We have a lot of togetherness. We have a lot of character. Um, so some of it is just, you know, look, man, it's going to be more of what we did this year. Next year, you know, we're going to bring it forward, you know. So uh, there are a whole lot of things we need to get better at. Um, but I wouldn't say, like, I have one thing in mind where we're going to target this one need. We have a lot of needs. How would you, we're not that good. <laughs> how, how would you evaluate the, the job of the coaching staff and what Jamal and company are able to do towards the direction for the future where you guys want to be in the playoffs competing for championships? I, I think our coaches have done a great job. And um, when I talk to our players and, and, and their belief and the togetherness and their understanding of where each of them individually needs to get better in order to move the whole team forward, um, man, the coaches, that's, that's coaching. That's coaching. You know, those guys have... Uh, uh, bake that into our game to game preparation. So every game we play, we're getting better. We're not just addressing what we need to do this game to win. And with that comes a level of attention to detail and understanding, by the way, what do we do need to do? And then how, you know, KYP, like what are, who are we playing against tonight? What are, where, where do my matchups, where do my um, focuses shift tonight from last night, you know? Um, so the coaches have done an amazing job with that and they're all connectors and um, they work from the ground up with the person and the player. And uh, I think that, you know, even our coaching staff is new and they're coming together themselves. I feel like our whole organization is still growing together and every year we get better. With, with, uh, with the possible two picks, uh, the cap space that you have, 
the movement in the cap space with some expiring contract. Is this the best resources you've had in an off season since you've been here? Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a that's very well put. Definitely. That said, um, you know, part of having resources is 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 like how do you exhaust those resources? And uh, uh, I think like that's part of the uncertainty. What conversations um, with other teams are going to present themselves? Um, what players are going to put themselves out there into the free agent market or the free agent trade market these days, as it were? And um, and what does the draft look like? You know, but. Uh, to your point, um, the fluidity, the flexibility is definitely, this is, this is, I would say, the high water mark for us, but that doesn't mean that we want to just burn through it either, you know? So that's part of like what we'll be discussing in our preparations. I know you mentioned in terms of the needs, there are a lot of them, but three point shooting the past few years, you, know, you guys have been towards the bottom of the league. Just how much do you, are you guys going to, I guess, not just look at improvement, but how much you look at self improvement versus going out, whether it's free agency, draft, trade, et cetera? improving that way like how does that go into the calculus for you yep i think every team you know is looking at shooting these days it's just become too a too important part of the game and for sure we need to get better shooting the ball but that can come from a lot of different avenues you know that can come from you know internal growth uh, over the summer working individually with our players it could come from the draft it could come from discussions with other teams it could come from shot selection and part of these are all parts of a growing team you know um, uh, uh, part of what makes it challenging to win with a young team, you know, because this ain't the 90s where guys would come in and, 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 you know, it'd be a wrestling match every game, you know, and you'd be, you know, going up as a 19-year-old rookie against, you know, guys who outweigh you by 50 pounds. You know, the league has morphed into something completely different these days. You know, it's much less physical. It's more skill-based, shooting-based, IQ-based. And so, you know, with that come other challenges. And so the real challenge of winning with a young team has a lot to do with role orientation and knowing the difference of you know, time score. And these are kind of things that you need reps and experience and togetherness to gain a full understanding of. And that, that I think feeds into you know, the types of shots that you're getting, um, what's your objective, and, and, and all of these numbers all of a sudden start to look a little better, I think. You know? I do think we have a lot of capable shooters on this team who will be good shooters, but we're young. You know? It doesn't always happen right out of the gate. You know, for your young guys uh, like Jalen, who didn't really, you know, had to rehab so much of last offseason. J.I. expects to be, you know, full goal in a couple weeks. Uh, Markel enters the, the offseason healthy. Just how big can their health be to their offseason development this year? Health is everything. I mean, it, it all starts, this league starts and finishes with health. If you want to look at why most teams had a good or bad year, it's generally related to health. There's talent everywhere, you know. Were you healthy, you know, and especially as you get into, you know, the playoffs and the deep playoffs and like those key guys, like obviously like seasons hinge on one injury. So for us, the fact that we were five and 20 and then and then self-corrected was largely due to health, you know. And um, so it's a it's a big summer for us to have these guys have a healthy summer. And some of the guys that you alluded to, they haven't had a healthy summer, you know. And so uh, that's a big part of, you know, what we're hoping for this summer. Um, I think our performance staff did an amazing job of getting these guys back and keeping them back this year um, because, you know, when we were healthy, by and large, um, you know, we started to see the outlines of what we're hoping to be in the next few years.